Hi, I'm Sain from Sitecode and in this presentation we will learn how to create and configure a Visual Studio project for Sitecode outside Sitecode CMS or WebRoot. Creating a Visual Studio project for Sitecode in a dev root that is developer root or outside CMS root initially requires a few more configurations but it is certainly preferred over inside web root or CMS root approach and it has its rewards at the end. If you would like to learn the other approach of creating Visual Studio project for site code that is creating the project inside CMS root please watch the video titled creating Visual Studio project for site code from site code developer fundamental series on site code CP training channel on YouTube. The dev root approach has various advantages. To begin with, it lets you have clear ownership of project assets. It simply means your project assets are not merged with site core assets or third party modules as they are in a separate workspace, referred as dev root or developer root. Think of the chaos the inside web root or CMS root approach may create if you try to upgrade site code or third party modules. Your custom configurations in the config files and other files run the risk of being overwritten. The dev root approach helps save you from potential override conflicts emerging from such upgrades. Going a step further, you may create a dedicated config project for all your custom config settings and use transformation to apply settings to site core configurations. Thus, keeping your settings always separate from site core settings to avoid the risk of your custom settings being overwritten on site core upgrades and build only the setting project as and when required. We will look at the setting up a config project later in an upcoming video. The dev root approach also helps you easily source control your project as your project is outside web root and you get to only see your solution assets hence promoting easier source control. It also makes easy to share, ship and deploy Sitecore projects as you can easily zip your workspace or build a single DLL. Finally, with dev root approach, you get the ability to mimic your deployment environment or stay as close as possible to it. The other advantage is your environments stay clear of class files. It is vital as you need not make any changes once you deploy your solutions as you work in a similar environment to deploy it. All said, the outside web root or CMS root approach requires some initial configurations and some people may find them a bit complex. Unlike inside CMS root or web root approach, you need to build every time to preview. The build is required even for CSS or JavaScript change so that changes are pushed to CMS root. Building every time for even CSS or JavaScript changes might sound very cumbersome but at the end of the day you will realize that dev root approach is definitely superior to inside CMS root. So let's go and investigate. As we can see, I have a website called Sitecode 7 running on Sitecode platform. I can append Sitecode to log into Sitecore interfaces such as page editor, content editor and desktop. Let's log in to Sitecode page editor. This gets us Sitecode page editor. You can expand the toolbar by clicking on this small button on the top. In order to build this interface, Sitecore must be using some assets. Those assets are called Sitecore CMS root. So let's look at Sitecore CMS root now. By default, Sitecore installer installs the Sitecore in WW root. So let's drill down to WW root to look at Sitecore 7 website. So here is Sitecore 7 website. Double click and we observe there are other folders such as data, database, apart from the website. The website folder is the Sitecore CMS root. It is called CMS root as it has assets required for Sitecore interfaces such as page editor, content editor, desktop and administration. In case you are not familiar with Sitecore system components, please watch the video titled Sitecore system components from developer fundamental series on Sitecore CP training YouTube channel. 
Exploring the website folder reveals that it is a standard ASP.NET application but it doesn't have the project file. This is default sidecore behavior after you install a new sidecore instance. You could either create a project here and this approach is called creating Visual Studio project inside CMS root or web root. It is covered in a previous video titled creating Visual Studio project for sidecore in developer fundamental series on YouTube channel sidecore CEP training. The other approach that we cover in this video is to create the project in a workspace outside CMS root that is dev root. The dev root approach is a superior approach and recommended for real life implementations. Let's look at the steps needed for this. The steps are easy to follow but quite a few. We begin with launching Visual Studio as admin and create a new web application with the appropriate .NET framework suitable for our Sidecore install. Using Windows Explorer, put sidecore.kernel.dll in the bin folder. Add a reference for sidecore.kernel and remember to set copy local to false. Set up publish options and create a web form, publish and preview the web form to ensure everything worked. And most importantly, ensure IntelliSense. You may not need to do additional steps if you're using Sidecore Rocks or register your web forms and user controls with sidecore.kernel assembly. If you are looking for the same seamless Visual Studio IntelliSense experience for Sidecore without worrying to add the register directives, please watch the next video titled as Enabling Visual Studio IntelliSense for Sidecore on Sidecore CEP Training YouTube channel. Well prepared? Let's go for action. Launch Visual Studio 2012 as administrator and create a new web application project. Choose ASP.NET Empty Web Application. Choose .NET Framework 4.5 for Sidecore 7.0. Name your project suitably. I'm going to use Sidecore 7. Choose a suitable location and select Create Directory for Solution. Click OK and Visual Studio will create an empty ASP.NET Web Application. Delete the web.config Choose Show All Files Options, right click bin folder and choose Open Folder in File Explorer. This opens the bin folder of Sidecore 7 project. Copy sidecore.kernel from the bin directory of your Sidecore instance. Sidecore.kernel Right click, copy and put it into the bin folder of the Visual Studio project. Go back to Visual Studio. Right click references and say add references. Browse to the bin folder of Sidecore 7 Visual Studio project. Choose the assembly. Say add. Say ok. Right click the sidecore.kernel reference, select properties and set copy local to false. Save your project. Let's move on and set up the publishing options. Right click your sidecore 7 project, choose publish and create a new publish profile. Let's name it sidecore 7 dev. Say ok. From the publish method drop down, choose file system. Drill down to your Sidecore 7 instance. Select the website folder and say open. Click next and choose debug. Say next and confirm your settings. Click publish. Let's verify the publish settings we have just made. Let's add a test web form. and try publishing. We need to first build the solution and then publish the project. As we can see, this could be time consuming. So let's add a shortcut for build and publish. Right click on the toolbar and choose web one click publish. 
click the bidirectional arrow for publishing. Let's verify if the publishing worked successfully. Let's open the website folder of our Sitecore 7 instance and verify if we have the files there. We notice the new file has been copied. This is a sign of success. Let's go back to Google Studio and ensure that we have Sitecore IntelliSense in place. If you have installed Sitecore Rocks, you can right click and add a new sublayer. Choose Sitecore, select renderings and choose the sublayer file. Say add. Let's add a Sitecore text control. As we see, Sitecore IntelliSense was made available by Visual Studio. This was made possible by the register directive on the top. Let's verify if we get the IntelliSense in the code view. And as you see, I am getting the IntelliSense even in code view. and it builds successfully. These are the minimum number of steps in order to create a Visual Studio project for Sitecode outside CMS root. Let's also cross check IntelliSense on a user control. Add a new user control and register Sitecode.pernav and let's create an SC image control. As you can see, we also get IntelliSense. In fact, a Sitecore sub layout is nothing but a web user control. If you are one of those developers who would not like to register the Sitecore.kernel assembly on every user control, please follow the next video titled as Enabling Google Studio IntelliSense for Sitecore on Sitecore CEP Training YouTube channel. So let's catch up in the next video. We welcome your feedback. Please provide your feedback or comments on our YouTube video channel Psycho CP Training. Your wish or command. Please tell us the topic of your choice or feature you would like to learn next. Once again, this is Sane from Psycho. Thanks for watching.